Today on Garden Fork, learn how to make a simple boat out of plywood. You're going to love this. Hey everyone, I'm Eric Rocho from Garden Fork, G Fork for short. We were watching uh, Meg Magazine, one of their video podcasts, and it had Deke from Tiny Yellow House on there. And he made a boat out of one sheet of plywood, and I said, I want to make that. So, this is kind of an homage to Deke. We're going to make a boat out of one sheet of plywood. It's his design. I'm going to make some modifications to it, kind of put the garden fork spin on it. But I watched this video about 10 times. I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how to make this really cool boat. First thing you got to do is you need a sheet of plywood. This is some 3 8 uh, roofing sheathing I got. If you want this to be a smoother surface on your boat, you can get some uh, smoother finished plywood. It's, I think it's called finished plywood. Um, but this is just, this was like 12, 15 bucks at the store. Buy two of them in case you make a mistake. The easiest way to do this, as Deke says, is to go to the lumber yard or your home improvement store and hand them cut this wood. You want it into two one foot sections and a two foot section. I didn't have them cut it, so I'm gonna show you how to cut it here. The best thing to have for this is this thing called the chalk line. I don't know if you ever used one of these before, but it has chalk powder in here and string, and I'll show you how this works, okay? I've marked out here our two one foot marks here. So what you do is you first shake that up, make sure that the chalk is coating the string. And I put this right there on the one foot mark. And then I line it up here. And then it makes a line. Cool. And action. Woo. Nice, huh? Waiting for the boat ride. Off of your two foot piece, you want to measure 17 inches. All right, so what we've done here, I've taken a piece of string, I've taken our bow, and I set it at a 45 degree angle. I have a angle thing, and I put that underneath, set it to 45. Then I take one of the side pieces here, and I've lined it up so it's flush with the back. And then underneath, I take a pencil here, and I've traced my cut line here. Because this is going to be the front of the boat, and this is where the side of the boat's going to meet it. I'm going to take some small finish nails, and I'm going to start them at the very edge of the bottom of the boat. We're going to be using silicon caulk, and that stuff Nasty. doesn't get off your hands. Make sure it says silicon on it. Why? What are the other options? Uh, other kind of caulk, like painter's caulk or stuff like that. Yeah. So silicon is waterproof. See, it says they're waterproof. Oh. This is for bathtubs, so stuff like that. You have to use the silicon. Because we're going, this is going in the water. Seaworthy. Yeah, so it doesn't leak. This is the leak proofing. Excellent. So we're going to take this. Yeah. And line it up on there. With a little wobbly. Okay, do the same thing for the other side. Okay, the front, plenty of caulk. Should there be a space here? Yeah, there's gonna be a gap and we're gonna caulk the heck out of that gap with the silicon cock. Oh, that'll keep us afloat. Yeah, Hope, hopefully. Push it into the joint. Does it need a couple coats? Yeah, we'll do a couple coats on this. When I said one sheet of plywood, it was uh, one sheet and a little bit. You can make this out of one sheet of plywood, but you can actually make the boat a little bit longer so it'll fit two kids or two people a little better. If you use the sheet of plywood plus one piece of scrap. This is a two foot by one foot piece. You can go, if you go to your home improvement store, in addition to four by eight sheets of plywood, they sell two foot square sheets of plywood as well. You can buy one of those plus a four by eight sheet and you'll have a bigger boat. You can do it with one sheet of four by eight, but if you want your boat a little longer, get a piece of scrap. Maybe this is in a dumpster nearby. Maybe one of your neighbors has one. Let's go ask. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're not done. 
All right, so here's here's my idea of, of changing it up a little bit. Is This is called a batten or one by two, but I, we use them for garden sticks. I mean, they're usually, you know, this tall, and then we cut them a little shorter for trellises and stuff. You can see our how to make your trellis video on our site. But what I want to do now is measure all these lengths, and we're going to place this in here like this, and we're going to screw it from the side and screw it from the bottom. We're, going to, we're first laying more caulk and then screw this in, and that'll make it pretty strong. I'm using three quarter inch wood screws. Phase one is complete. I gotta put one more piece in here. Um, the reinforcement piece? Yeah, I forgot that one. How unusual. Almost complete. Ah, you're looking really good. Take some scrap wood and make a keel, put a little angle at the front. We're going to put it right down the middle here, waterproof wood glue. I took a one by two, cut the angle at the front and made it run the length of the boat. Okay, always have your personal flotation device. People, if you're about to think. <laughs> so a couple things I want to point out. I, I put these uh, one by twos on the side here, and then I put one across the top, and we gave it a name, painted it red. I think we're ready to go. You want to watch? <laughs> yep. This is going to be fun. <laughs> it floats. It's, it's a little lopsided. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it is good. Do you see anything floating? Do you see any sharks under there? Snappers? No, but I see some water coming through it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very cool. You can do this. We're going to build more plywood boats. You can find out more about this. I took a bunch of pictures of us putting this together at our site, gardenfork.tv. Okay? Um, use this information at your own risk, but this is really cool. I think it'll be a fun project with your kids. you got to let the uh, silicon caulk dry. We kind of rushed it a little bit, so we're getting a little bit of water on board. But this is great. I want to thank Deke and Make Magazine for inspiring me for this. There's also another site that has uh, similar versions of this boat, which I'll put right here because I can't remember the name of it, um, but a bunch of plywood boat plants there. Bring your friends.